commitment with determination. And I've got a word for you today, straight from the heart of God. And I want you to hear every word of it. And don't turn that dial. I want you to stay tuned because after I finish telling you what God is saying, I'm going to pray for you. I've seen things. So you begin to believe in Jesus. Somebody say amen and give a So I, I said, okay, God, I feel like you're really trying to get me to 
go into the fourth commandment here after I got into it a little bit. It said, you shall have none other gods before me. Amen. You shall not make you any graven image or any likeness of anything. Does it sound like the Ten Commandments? Or likeness of anything that is in heaven above or that is in the earth beneath. You don't make no image, nothing. You shall not bow down yourself unto them, praise God, nor serve them, for I, the Lord your God, am a jealous God. He's jealous. Mm -hmm. Visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them who hate me. Uh, come on. My God. Yeah. Praise God. God knows who loves him. God yeah. knows who yeah. is for him. And if you obey, if you do it, if you learn and keep and do, You'll be one of his kids. And showing mercy unto thousands of them who love me and keep my commandment. Hallelujah. He's, he's watching and he knows who's doing and he knows who's not doing. Yeah. So you, you can act like you're doing if you want to, but God knows if you're really doing it. Praise God. You shall not take the name of the Lord your God in vain. Amen. It sounds like another one of those commandments, right? Mm -hmm. Praise God. People say, I'm not commandment. We're not living under the law. Yes, you do. And if you don't live under the law, does that mean you're above the law? Come on, now. I say it all the time about that stop, stop sign across the street out yeah. there on that corner. Praise God. So you know, the, the, the paint can wear off, but they also teach us what the shape means. Yeah, all right. <laughs> you, you know what the, the shape means? Stop. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Now, that's a law. That's a law. That's a law. It's everywhere you go. Any city, any state in the United States got that sign, that color, and that shape, meaning stop. Amen. Yeah. And God is no difference. Anywhere you go, any state, any city, praise God, God is saying, praise the God, about what he wants, what pleases him. So I think what I'm talking about is the glory of the Sabbath. Mm -hmm. right. I think what I'm talking about is the glory of the Sabbath. Because the next thing he said in verse 12, keep the Sabbath day to sanctify it as the Lord your God has commanded you. Now, if God said do it, why won't we do it? Hallelujah. Praise God. Why is it so hard to do? Why, why is it, you know, praise God? Who, who, who changed it anyway? There's nowhere in the Bible where service was changed from Sabbath to Sunday. Come on. There's nowhere. Praise God. We come to Together on Sunday to magnify his name and to give him praise, to glorify him one more time and to fish, to have people come in so that we can lead them to the Sabbath. Amen. Praise God. But most people think this is the day to clean their dog. Yeah. Most people think this is the day that they go fishing. Mm -hmm. this is, most people think this is the day I go, oh, this is the only day I have to go shopping. Mm -hmm. No, you got six other days. Hallelujah. You have six other days to do a whole lot of other stuff. God said, remember the Sabbath and keep it holy. And it's getting to be more and more tedious to do it. It's getting to be more and more harder to do it. Mm -hmm. People don't want you. They look at you like you some kind of crazy person. Hallelujah. Even though you're the one giving them the meat. Come on, man. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. You're yeah. the one supplying the whatever. Praise God. But they look at you. You're sound Sabbath. You keep it Sabbath. And then they, they start after you with the lies. And I got the lies. We, I found them and I gave them to you. Praise God. So what the fourth commandment is all about, the fourth commandment is all about a key to a relationship with your creator. It's the key to how to praise God. It's the key to how to magnify his name. The fourth commandment to remember the Sabbath concludes the section of the Ten Commandments that specifically helps define a proper relationship with God. You want to know how to have a relationship with your God? Anybody ever thought, how do I have a relationship with God? People come to the Lord, they say, yes, Lord, come into my life, come into my heart. And then nobody teaches them how to have a relationship with God. They say, oh, oh come to church. <laughs> That's not having a relationship with God. All right. That's fellowshipping with your brothers and your sisters. Mm -hmm. But yet, that's all they told us. Praise God. And we went by what they said. We got to learn how to love. How, how we are to love, worship, and relate to God. How are you going to love God? I have, have you ever thought of that? How do I love God? 
How do I worship God? Okay, I say. Okay. How do I relate to God? Me? I'm a human, mortal. How can I relate to the supreme being, mm. the one who created the moon and stars and hung them up in the atmosphere, and they won't come down till he says so? Oh, Glory to God. This, this fourth commandment, praise God, remember the Sabbath and keep it holy, explains why and when we need to take special time to draw closer to our creator. You, you ask people, do you, why are you going to church? Oh, because that's what I'm supposed to do. Why are you going to church? Oh, I like it. I like the preaching. I like the singing. Why are you, why are you going to church? He asked me why I'm going to church. Why do I come on Sabbath? I come to get closer to the Creator. Yeah. That's what I come for. I come for Him to tell me how to get closer to Him. Amen. And most of the time, people don't want to hear how to get closer because that means you're going to have to hear something that you don't want to hear and stop doing something that you don't want to stop doing. Remember the Sabbath day. Praise God. You got the handout. It says the fourth commandment. That's where I am. To keep it holy, six days you shall labor and do all your work. Hallelujah. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord your God. In it you shall do no work, you, your sons, your daughters, your male servants, your female servants. Praise God. Amen. That means don't have your servants working. <laughs> Close the shop down. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I was thinking about this uh, early this morning, about, oh, maybe about 6.30, 7 o'clock. And uh, I remembered going to uh, Michigan uh, as a little girl. My mother and my parents sent me to be with my godmother. Hallelujah. And, uh, and I know now she was a Sabbath keeper because we did nothing on Saturdays. Mm. Praise God. I remember I got in bad trouble because I got up and I, I took the bicycle that she had bought me there for there. And, and I was out just doing it, just going for it. And she said, oh, no, we don't do that. Mm. And I thought, oh, okay. Praise mm. God. You got to teach, teach and learn how to be still and hear God. Mm. Uh -huh. He talks to his children most on Sabbath. He directs most on Sabbath. He, if you check out, since we've been honoring the Lord in this, amen, hallelujah, God has done more on Sabbath than he has any other day. He'll tell us other days to do things, but he will consummate it and make it true on Sabbath. Hallelujah. So but why is setting apart one day a week so important that God included it as one of the Ten Commandments? Why? Hmm. I can see him putting, I'm the Lord thy God, I can see him putting in there, don't have any foreign images. I can see him putting in there, do not kill, do not steal. I can see him doing that. Why, why would he put in a day, a, a day special? Because that's the day that he wants to get closer to you. And he wants you and me to remember him as creator. Mm. As creator right. of the everything. Not just a you know, just something we're saying, passing by. The fourth commandment, to remember the Sabbath, concludes the section of the Ten Commandments that specifically helps define the proper relationship with God. How we are to love God. So you want to know how to love God? Don't go shopping. You want to know how to love God? Sit, be still, and listen. Read. You want to know how to love God? Well, well I've got to go. This only day I can get it. If you not see, during this time, our work, our normal work day, some people have to work on Saturday. So we're not talking about that now. So don't, don't take that and say that's a weight. But I'm talking about these extra things that we do. These extra things that we do, we're going to fix it. Well, I, I've got a chance to make uh, some money, and so I'm going to make it because I promised the wife I was going to put a, uh, you know, a pool in the backyard. And I'll have the money. If God wants a pool back there, he'll, he'll give you the money. Mm -hmm. You don't have to dishonor the Sabbath. Now, y'all sitting there looking at me like, where, where did I come from? I came from the same place I came from before I said what I said. Oh. <laughs> Glory to God. Jesus is still Lord and Sabbath is still right. Yeah. Glory to God. You got to figure out why. Why is it wants to be stopped? When did this, when did this Sabbath start? 
Who, who did this? Glory to God. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. God wants you to worship and relate to him. The Sabbath explains why and when we need to take special time to draw closer to our Creator. You know, I know you're praying at night. I know you're praying before you eat. I know you're praying before you get in your car and before you get out of your car. I know you're praying before you go in the bank and come out of the bank. I know you're praying for your children, praise God, but there's just something about a closeness, a praying that his will be done, not what I want. Because most of the time when we pray, we're praying, oh, Lord, I need you. Am I right about it? Yes. Amen. Oh, Lord, Amen. help me get him. Am I right about Amen. it? Oh, Lord, I want to see him. Am I right about it? Amen. But the closest God is wanting us to get is, oh, Lord, what do you want? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Lord, what do you, where do you have me be? Praise God. This, I'm, I'm your creation. Praise God. You are the God of everything. And I bless your holy name for it. Amen. Hallelujah. So the Sabbath, the seventh day of the week was set apart, praise God, by God as a time of rest and spiritual rejuvenation. Praise God. So whether you know it or not, you're getting rejuvenized. Yeah. Well, let me clap by you know it or not, you're getting regenerated. Amen. Praise God. I prayed before anybody got here. Hallelujah. I went to that front door, glory to God, and I said, Lord, let every person that come through feel the joy, your joy. Yeah. Right. Your joy. Now, see, that, that, that's hard to feel the joy of God when you got what you want first. Come on. Come on. I want it. Right. And if I don't get it, I ain't going to have no joy. Come on now. Praise God. Mm -hmm. He's only the God when you're going and getting on the roller coaster. He's, he's only God when you've got that money and you can go on that thousand dollar shopping trip. Uh, oh, glory to God. Come on. Hallelujah. Right, right. But I tell you, he's the God of everything. Mm -hmm. He's a God that some say he can fix anything. He can work anything out. And if you let him, he will do it. He will do it. I don't care what it is. Praise God. Hallelujah. Ain't nobody too strong, too hard, too mighty that God can work a work for his children. Isn't that what he said? <laughs> he said, for his children, he's going to bless them. Praise God. People would say to you, well, isn't this a symbolic command? What, one that was never meant to be taken literal? Why would God put some, <laughs> some junk in the Bible? Uh, what? Why, why would he just, you know, well, I've got some space here, so I'm just going to put some nothing in here. I mean, you don't have to do it. It don't mean nothing. I'm just going to put it in the Bible. Not once, not twice, but many times in the Old and the New Testament. Praise God. Oh, but the devil's alive. Yes, the yes. devil is alive. Yes. Jesus is Lord, and I just give him praise for it. There's a purpose. There's a purpose for everything God does. And his purpose for Sabbath is that you and I would get closer and can get closer to him. <laughs> Praise God. This isn't symbolic. This was meant to take, be taken literal. Jesus Christ, praise God, he wrote it, he spoke it, God spoke it. He spoke it to Moses in Exodus and then he wrote it. And then he wrote it again. It was just that important. Now think of this. Is God going to do something just haphazardly, something that's silly and mundane? Come he's going to say it to Moses, and then he's going to write it. And then when Moses broke it, the Ten Commandments, he wrote it again. Mm. Hallelujah. Wow. Is that supposed to make be a nonsensical something? Mm. It doesn't make sense. We don't have to do it. Yes, we do. Mm. If you want to please God. All right. Well, I'm doing okay, all right. No, it's a whole lot of folks thinking they're doing all right. They're not doing all right. All right. You know, you, you might be healthy, but check your family. All right. All right. All right. Hallelujah. You might not be on drugs, but check your family. All right. Hallelujah. All right. Praise God. God sent you, your seed, and your seed seed. Amen? Amen. He's going to bless if we let him. He's not going to do it just because we're in church, y'all. All right. He's not going to do it just because we come on Sabbath. Amen? Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. And sometimes, quite frankly, we have to push to get here. Amen. Yeah. Glory to God. But after we get here, after we push, 
the spirit of the Lord opens up a space in our hearts and we feel yeah. so glad. Yeah. 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 the extent of society's indoctrination by Satan. Satan has indoctrinated the world. Mm. He's, he's, he's called in 2 Corinthians 4 and 4, the God of this age. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Praise God. He has deceived most of mankind. You can find it in Revelation 12 and 9. Hallelujah. The whole world falls prey to his influence. 1 John 5 and 19. His objective has always been to destroy the relationship between the true God and humanity. That's his job. He wants to stop the relationship. Mm -hmm. He wants you to quit depending on him. He wants you to stop relying on him. He wants you to quit bringing your problems to him. Bring all your problems to him. Yeah. And let him fix it. Hallelujah. But the enemy would try to make, well, you didn't get it yet. Mm -hmm. Everybody else got one, but you don't get one. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The devil is a lie. Yes, he wants is. nothing more than to thwart people from developing. This is what he wants to do. He wants to stop you from developing a loving, personal relationship with your creator. Mm -hmm. Bottom line. Mm -hmm. Bottom line. Hallelujah. And he'll go and do anything he can do to stop that. <laughs> And this is the purpose of the fourth commandment, so that you will have a personal relationship. I oh, I thought all I had to do was just say, yes, Jesus, come into my heart. I thought I had to, all I had to do was start paying tithes and come to church. Praise God. No. Amen. Praise God. Actually, a whole lot of people that come to church don't even want to be there. You can tell by the look on their face and by the attitude of what they're in. Praise God. Hallelujah. Glory. And then there's some folks smiling, grinning, jumping, and yeah. looking yeah. like it's real good, but it's not. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. They're thinking it, thinking they can make it. If I fake it, I can make it. No, you can't make it. Thank Hallelujah. You. Hallelujah. Because God knows your heart. He do. Hallelujah. Praise God. And you don't want his wrath. You don't want his wrath. Uh, Praise God. So now the handout that says the glory of the Sabbath. We're going to be going back and forth. There's so much I want to say. Praise God. But God, and I thank you, Father, that you're going to unravel it all. The writer of this little article, he was saying that for most, most of my life, I lived in an environment that hailed Sunday as the Lord's Day and as the Christian Sabbath. That's where we came from. I spoke that earlier. Mm -hmm. It was all he knew. Anybody come from there? Mm -hmm. That's all we knew. Yeah. Praise yeah. God. He said, oh, it's Sunday. Let's go to church. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We went to work or school, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. We went to party Friday night mm -hmm. to celebrate the fact that I've worked all week yeah. and I need some yeah. relaxation and recreation. Yeah. Amen. 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 Am I right about yeah. it? Yeah. Amen. And then on Saturday, we get up, wash the car, yeah. Amen. and then go shopping. Come on. Yeah. Um, but then on Sunday, we wake up and put on those clothes, put on the church clothes, yeah. and then you go to church and you sit there. <sighs> Hurry up. I wish you'd hurry up. Yeah. I wish you'd hurry up. Well, what you going for? Uh, Hallelujah. Glory, glory. Where, where is there any honoring the Sabbath? Amen. Where is there any relationship being made? None. But that's all we knew. Praise God. Hallelujah. And in this, you'll find that um, Constantine, he did it. He started the Catholic Church. He did it. He was mm -hmm. going to be for the Christians. But he changed Sabbath mm -hmm. to Sunday. There's no place in the Bible that says we should change out Sunday as Sabbath. Praise God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> right. in this, in that second paragraph, look where I have it underlined. Very early in this man's ministry, he came to start thinking that the, the creator of the universe never changes. If God never changes, how come it's changed from the Old Testament and it's different in the New Testament? Well, if you don't know how to interpret, it looks like it's changed. But it's not changed. Why would God give us a Bible with the, the majority of it saying one thing 
and the new saying something different. Come on. Okay, but they say, I'm a New Testament Christian. Yeah. Right. You, you know, all that means really is that you, you're a child of the devil. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you can go up by his rules and his regulations. Praise God. <laughs> you you got to know that God is. That, that book was you know, written by God using man's hands. But God spoke it. Hallelujah. Yes. Now, if God, the Bible says he's a man, that he shouldn't lie. He cannot lie. He cannot lie. Not shouldn't. He cannot lie. Mm -hmm. So if he cannot lie, that book has got to make one whole thing. Mm -hmm. That book has got to make one whole subject, mm -hmm. one whole plan. Right. Are you getting what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. How, can I just get free here? Yeah. Because y'all look at me like I need to be formal. And I don't want to be formal. I just, I, I just want to know I'm saved. Yeah. I just want to know I'm yeah. sanctified. Come on, come I just know I'm filled with the Holy Ghost, with the evidence of speaking in tongues. Yeah. And, and I come on Sabbath to remember the Sabbath day yeah. and to remember the God who made the moon and the sun and the stars. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yeah. The, the world is looking for some help. They just don't know that their help is in the Lord. Yeah. All of their help yeah. comes from the oh. Lord. Oh. Hallelujah. Oh. If, we, if we, the church, can get it together, the world will get it together. All right. All right. Right. Don't let it come back. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I love you, Lord. Look at that third paragraph there in the glory of the Sabbath. The creator of the Sabbath on the seventh day is completely bound together with the creation of the sun, moon, stars, vegetation, animals, and mankind. God is directly connected with all of that because he created it all. Amen. Praise the Lord again. Amen. I hope you enjoyed uh, those few words that we had for you from the heart of God. And if you enjoyed them, praise the Lord. And you care to see that we stay on air you care to give a generous gift, you may. Praise God, the address is on the bottom of the screen. Or if you're in the Youngstown area, huh, do that. Come to the place where the Lord provides. 104 West Evergreen. And if Saturdays, 3 p.m., amen, we have a Sabbath service. Sunday, we have Sunday worship service, 3 p.m. Wednesday, 7 p.m., regular midweek service, amen. And we always glorify God. We magnify the mighty name. So we'll look for you. Come and see us. Bye-bye.